This video is dedicated to everyone's favorite hot beverage, a nice cup of coffee. Ever since the introduction of the drink to European society in the 17th century and onwards, scores of philosophers and other notable people could not resist the caffeinated joys of coffee and the increased focus and mental abilities it brings. Some were even properly addicted. In this video, we'll take a look at how various philosophers such as Kant, Kierkegaard and Voltaire liked their coffee. It is well known that the Enlightenment was fueled by caffeine. The famous Café Procop, which opened in 1686 and which is still open today, brought together such men as Voltaire, Benjamin Franklin, Denis Diderot, Rousseau, among others, in 18th century Paris. Voltaire himself drank some 40 to 50 cups of coffee per day and mixed his drink with chocolate, also a hot new commodity from the new world. Apparently, he also paid exorbitant fees to have special kinds of luxury coffee imported for his own personal use. He dined in Paris that night at a coffee house with a few other literary men. He arrived rather late. He made his dinner, after his frugal fashion, of seven or eight cups of black coffee and a couple of rolls, and was very talkative and amusing. But coffee was not only popular in France. German philosopher Immanuel Kant became quite addicted to the drink in the final 15 years of his life. Thomas de Quincey, in his essay on the last days of Immanuel Kant, is illuminating. Coffee must be brought upon the spot, a word which he had constantly in his mouth during his latter days, in a moment. Knowing what would happen, I had taken care that all the preparations should be made beforehand, the coffee was ground, the water was boiling, and the very moment the word was given, his servant shot in like an arrow and plunged the coffee into the water. All that remained, therefore, was to give it time to boil up. But this trifling delay seemed unendurable to Kant. Whether he lost track of time due to old age, or was simply grumpy due to a lack of caffeine, is up for discussion. But Kant suffered greatly in those moments between the preparation of the coffee and the actual drinking of it. All consolations were thrown away upon him. Vary the formula as we might, he was never at a loss for a reply. If it was said, Dear Professor, the coffee will be brought up in a moment. Will be, he said, but there's the rub that it only will be. Man never is but always to be blessed. If another cried out, the coffee is coming immediately, yes, he would retort, and so is the next hour, and by the way, it's about that length of time that I have waited for it. Then he would collect himself with a stoical air and say, well, one can die after all, it is but dying, and in the next world, thank God, there is no drinking of coffee, and consequently no waiting for it. A century later, in Denmark, Kierkegaard was also enjoying the delights of a cup of joe. According to one biographer, Kierkegaard's secretary related the following coffee habit of the philosopher. The coffee was brought in, two silver pots, two cream pitchers and a bag of sugar which was filled up every day. Delightedly, he seized hold of the bag containing the sugar and poured sugar into the coffee cup until it was piled up above the rim. Next came the incredibly strong black coffee, which slowly dissolved the white pyramid. The process was scarcely finished before the syrupy stimulant disappeared into the magister's stomach, where it mingled with the sherry to produce additional energy that percolated up into his seething and bubbling brain. 
He also owned about 50 sets of different pots and cups and told his secretary to carefully choose one each day and explain, with a valid philosophical reason, why he chose that particular one. So, if you find yourself addicted to coffee, remember you're in good, if eccentric, company. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. We upload every Wednesday. We've been contemplating to do more videos on Kierkegaard's philosophy. If you'd be interested in those, definitely let us know in the comments. See you in the next one and thank you for watching.